Welcome. So how do you go ahead and complete the square? Well, I'm just going to kind of work through a problem and really kind of uh, um, show you exactly, you know, kind of step by step where we're going to do it and by kind of list out the operations. So the main important thing is we need to have something that's going to be in quadratic form, means 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c. All right? So in this case, you know, if I have an equation y equals um, 3x squared minus 2x plus 4, the main important thing is I want to make sure it's in this side. If there's any numbers on both sides, I want to set them equal to y. So therefore, I can set this equal to 0, and therefore, it's in my standard form. Now, the next thing you want to do is identify what does a equal, what does b equal, and what does c equal. All right. So once you identify your a, b, and c, the next thing you need to do is apply them into your formula, which again, the formula is, is x equals opposite of b minus plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. So we're going to take our a, b, and our c, and we're going to plug them into our equation. So I can say x equals opposite of b, which b is negative 2. So the opposite of negative 2, I'll just write it in there, actually. We'll know that will be positive. Plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is 4. All right, And then divided by 2 times a, or 2 times um, a, which would be, in this case, 3. All right. Now, what I like to do is identify the discriminant first. All right. And identifying the discriminant first is going to tell us what type of solutions we're going to have. If we're going to have uh, one real, two real, irrational, um, irrational, irrational, um, or no solutions at all. So to do that, I'm going to evaluate inside first. So therefore, I have 4 squared minus 4 times 3 times 4. So in this case, I have 16 minus 4 times uh, 3, which would be 12 times 4, which is going to be 48. So therefore, when I subtract those, I get a negative um, 32. Now, we can get into that. And since you know you can't take the square root of a negative 32, there's actually going to be no real solutions. But I'm going to continue actually solving this by using my imaginary numbers um, to help me with this. So if I x equals, this becomes positive 2, plus or minus. I can simplify the square root of 32 um, by breaking that into, uh, let's see, 4 square root of 2i. All right? And if you don't get to this, you can check out my courses on complex um, and imaginary numbers. But I'm going to use that value here. So it would be plus or minus 4 times square root of 2i, all divided by 6. Now to finally find my answers, plus or minus, I can simplify the 6. I can divide out a 2 out of everything. So therefore, that becomes 1, that becomes 3, and that becomes 2. Therefore, I'm going to have two different solutions that are both going to be imaginary. They're not going to show up on the graph. But I have x equals 1 plus 2 times square root of 2i divided by 3. And x equals 1 minus 2 times square root of 2i divided by 3. Now, I have some much easier solutions and problems and processes that you'd actually be able to get some exact integers for. But I just decided you know, to go with this problem just to show you step by step what you need to do. So once you identify your discriminant, the next thing is to, is to simplify. Okay, So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's kind of like a step-by-step -step way on how to solve by using your quadratic formula. Thanks.